those who do him do play him well really Prepare play him well. Slumbuck. Round yeah. begins. Uh, in let's start on scene Z. We haven't seen him yet. One. Fight. The oh, former creepy out player. Yeah. And this spawn meant that Sombra was right on heavy. Picked up heavy, picked up rail. Picked up LG, most importantly, but the rocket trap this wow using piercing sight. He walks into CNZ and CNZ with with one direct in that fight did yeah. so much damage that Sombra couldn't compensate with LG at all. No, but I think if he didn't hit that rocket, like that full on, he, he would have lost the fight. Probably, and, yeah. And, the, and, the first one weren't that yeah. good. And there we go. Yeah, good positioning That's by it. Sombra. Oh, that shot will hurt him. Tried to time the rail a bit, little bit too early, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah, so Sombra does have weapon advantage now. He has a rail and LG. Seems that only the rocket. Oh, Sombra, you can't push that choke point. <laughs> yeah, I like nice. it. Nice. <laughs> oh, oh, and CND is just going forward, and this is dangerous now because even though he has a rocket launcher. Oh, uh, just hold the angle. Oh no, <laughs> he, he moved his own mouse a little bit too much and CNZ also did a little bit of the Samba. So, uh, no real shot hit, no kill shot actually. So Samba gets the heavy, CNZ the mega health. I do think Samba is a lot healthier. Yeah, and he knows that CNZ will still need lights. He maybe is guessing that CNZ went to the upper one. But given the position CNZ was in, he might know that he wasn't. And now, yeah, now CNZ can't really go to the uh, that light either. And if he goes to the lower one, he probably will lose out on Mega and he's not going to risk it. So he stays on Mega platform. <laughs> yeah, and still he only has the rocket launcher, right? Like, he, di he didn't actually drop down at any point. He now has the time to do so, though. Finally gets himself the rail and the LG, but he's still out of armor. Now he can go to the upper one. That was a good movement, good read from CNZ. Oh, oh the rocket from Sombra is punishing. Yeah, bye -bye is he armor. going to do a rocket jump? Oh, he I doesn't dare so. to. Yeah, he, I think he's really respecting the possibility of a rocket orb combo there. If he yeah. rocket jumps up and then it's orb rocket, I mean, you lose 50 HP by the rocket jump, and all of a sudden, you blow up <laughs> when, when CNZ is ready for it. Yeah, and that's not what you want. No. Most people feel more healthy when they don't blow up. But the rockets, and this one almost was a direct, just clipped the, the door frame on top and dealt 14 damage. Sombra is in such a good... Now he will do it. This time there is no respect. As CNZ wasn't ready for it. Picks up the Mega oh, and that nice. Rocky will spell danger. Sombra though is not having any of it. He doesn't want to fight and give CNZ a way out again. Yeah, it would be nice if he hits a rail. Yes. Oh, are you are you now going for the frag or the heavy first? Heavy. It, yeah. If yeah. you chase him away, he drops down to eyeball. He will be at heavy before you are. Yeah, true. And maybe even if you frag him, he will get it at the respawn. Now he gets full control and seeing that is in dire straits. I do like the positioning, like Sombra is hearing a lot on this map. Yeah, and your budget means that CNZ is in such a bad position now. Sombra is going to be patient. He will pop the, the piercing side and wait. Yeah. But... He doesn't have the ammo to fight, actually. So maybe it's even oh, he... a waste of the, uh, the ability. He has, but maybe he just wanted to know that CNZ is not going to go anywhere. And Yeah, it, it was I... definitely information. Yeah. Yeah. And now now he has both items. CNZ still doesn't have any armor. CNZ will need to get the upper one. And yeah, he's not going to go there now that, that Sombra was so close hearing him using the TP. Yeah, I, I do think Sombra lost uh, CNZ for a moment. I think he's just careful. He doesn't push any choke point, even though he has like literally triple the stack of the Estonian and he's still not risking anything he, like now to give up position would be basically also to give up Mega with the orb in play yeah like I, I do like this uh, yeah especially with 
he respects the orb probably a lot because it, it like even if Sombra has full control like one trap will strip about 100 uh, five minute warning no, 225 it, it could be in one go it, Stop if, yeah yeah if it's like the worst thing to happen like point blank orbs uh Orb, the detonation, no, no, even more. It could be 300 damage. Yeah. Point blank shotgun, orb hit, explosion hit, and inside out. Yeah. It could be like close to 300. And I see why uh, Sombra is not risking anything, but I think he still could apply a little bit more pressure given the the, the position and the stack advantage he has now. He has a, a light behind him. He can fight this. Yeah, if let's, he wants to. let's change to CNZ. Because, like, this is also a bit uh, CNZ's playstyle uh, in the beginning. Like, he was very defensive. Ooh, we get an all in fight. Uh, Sombra walking into a lot of LG. CNZ taking early position on the heavy, and Sombra kind of takes the bait. This is turning around. Yeah, Sombra, if Sombra hits above 35% lightning gun, he kills CNZ there, but. CNZ's lightning gun was so good given that he had an easy trajectory as well. Sombra falling down, not much room to dodge for him. And then it all turned south for him because CNZ got heavy, CNZ got position on Mega 2 and... Yeah, now Sombra trains to turn around and yeah, deal the favor backwards and the clutch trail comes out. I was gonna say the lightning gun is the perfect weapon here for Sombra, but CNZ gets his third and Sombra is missing the rail. Won't give up another frag as he hits himself this time. Both fall back, both will grab some items to be in a condition to fight somewhat. CNZ needs to find an opening because he has lost that position and that rail certainly is one. CNZ will get the heavy for sure now. Yeah. So, like in the previous fight, CNZ came out victorious because of a clutch rail. In the first fight, it was a rocket. So like these fights are close. Like on, only the one drop down from Sombra was really a mistake. The rest was uh, great gameplay. I think by it both. was just bad execution. It wasn't no. even a mistake because it, he hit twenty eight percent lightning gun and CNZ almost lost that fight. Yeah. yeah. And CNZ hit forty seven. So that's <laughs> such a big difference. But if Sombra hit Make somewhat close to 35, he probably gets the frag. I mean, he would have invested a lot of stack. That's out of question. But yeah, it kind of was the most risky play Sombra pulled off the entire map so far. Great rockets and the mid air to finish. The smell of gunpowder. TNZ, four frags up. And I think on a map like Ruins, you can force an occasional spawn here and there. But this is a big task, and now only the rocket launcher Ooh. and Sombra now is hitting the direct 10 wow. HP, like two cells. Crazy <laughs> shot. Oh, and he gets the oh. opening damage. Is he getting the frag? Oh, no, scene no. set. Then again, clutching it out with the real gun. He's so weak, though. There must be a refrag. Like, if Sombra wants to stay in this map, he has to get this one. Oh, operation is That's running smooth as silk. Yeah, I think, and this, this is probably somewhat of, as an inofficial GG. And there we go, back to back rails again. CNC's hit scan aim is as good as we know it from him. And yeah, his LG, like CNC's LG is really strong. And it kind of was the, the weapon that swung the, the momentum into his favor. And from then on, it was just railgun. Impressive. Look at this. <laughs> One minute warning. But all things considered, Sombra played pretty well f against the player like CNZ's caliber, yeah. in my opinion. Yeah, <laughs> the, the only thing what, what he, he could do better is like, uh, um, like yeah, every time he spawned without any weapons he he like it was really easy for scenes that to apply the pressure so disappear a bit after you've you spawned be ready to put up or shut up do some yeah, something unpredictable to get the weapons first i think that was 
probably the biggest difference because we see, have seen Sombra being able to to pressure and lock up CNZ for like one rotation or two. But then CNZ got lost, or Sombra lost CNZ rather. And all of a sudden, CNZ was able to, to gain position control and even items. And then when the tables were turned and CNZ was in control, Sombra wasn't able to do that. And CNZ could just pressure him all all the time and really capitalize a lot on his item uh, advantage. True. And uh, now I'm waiting for the map to switch, realizing that I have to do that myself. Yeah, now uh, we can see the most <laughs> funny map to watch in all of Quake Deep Embrace. Yes, which is going to be um, Sombra on Death Knight, CNZ on Strock and Peeker. Oh, and Strock and Peeker is so strong. Like any champion with the sliding mechanic can go around real quick on this map. Yeah. I think, like, um, the the crouch light uh, itself fits so well on that map. Because usually on maps where Slash is good, Anarchy is also decent. But here, it's like one or two QPL players that make him work on the highest level. Whereas there is a lot of lot more Slash players on Deep Embrace that make it work. And even more Strock players. Which I would attribute to the... the um, yeah, just the, the, the layout of the map and how it favors or how it supports uh, crouch sliding. Uh, yeah, and then Death Knight. Um, I don't think that that's also a decent pick on this uh, map. Um, yeah, especially with... Um, yeah. Um, yeah, defending parts on the, on the map. Like, if you uh, put the flames on heavy and uh, are in that position, it's really tough for the opponent to... Uh, to get there. Yeah. Prepare to fight. Uh, someone is asking, Round how's it fight? <laughs> yeah. Three, two, uh, one. I fight. tire of this. And it to the left <laughs> and it's too big. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's a tough one. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Let's see. Sonra had some time to scratch his nose. Pretty uh, defensive start, uh, but as soon as I say it, Sonra just only with the real gun hits one rail, but seeing that destroys him with the lightning gun. Um, well, dude, like I, I usually uh, go to Rocket Jump Ninja. Uh, I'll uh, share. Like Anna's YouTube channel is also really great uh, on how to find uh, the correct mouse for your hand. So CNZ uh, activating his uh, beaker. Not really getting any uh, damage out, but he does have a nice top position. Uh, sunrise, kind of locked up. But he is able to get near the Mega Elf. He can even collect it. Uh, not without getting anything from it, actually. Like, two rails yeah, and everything gets stripped. And the Supper and Pi did nothing for Sombra. Like, CNZ is having so much stack. And Sombra is in a decent position, but somehow that rocket dealt any splash damage. And there we go. No stack. The armor now is just... 
<laughs> what? Wasted as well and... <laughs> I mean, you can have a thousand armor. If you have 10 HP, it's like you blow up like a piece of paper anyway. And there we go. Even goes into the negative as he shoots a defensive rocket onto the floor. He gets the mega and takes fairly little amount of damage for it. This is okay for him. He picked up the lightning gun. He has HMG now. And a light. He is in a good position. He has a decent stack, but CNZ's lightning gun is just too much. The tracking. Again, and even though Sombra is hitting 60%, the stack advantage. You can't comp compensate that. <laughs> and it's just scenes that uh, real is paying out again. Like, all the armor Sombra gets, gets removed every time. TNZ hits those uh, clutch reels. This is promising something uh, for King Khan. Oh, bye bye. Sombra getting a dip into the water and uh, as soon as he spawns. He meets scenes that oh, uh, <laughs> interesting rocket jump. Uh, and yeah. yeah, he can't move. No, but Samra knows it. And oh, he steps into it the last second. And now it doesn't really matter that Samra didn't hit the rail. He knows where his his prey is. And Samra wants to sink his teeth into the flesh. And CNZ is, is, is trying to wiggle his way around. Nice choice of weapon there. Dealing like 60 damage with the starting machine gun, pewing the stack away, kinda. CNZ managed to get in a good position and the tribal is deadly and wow. Oh, holy crap, what a combo frag. Yeah, first time she said it a bit, little bit low. Uh, Sombra, his LG is doing the work. Um... Yeah, he wanted to go on position for the heavy, but it <laughs> still a long time for the response. Oh, he gets shot down by uh, C and Z, and that's actually <laughs> gets him in a great position t <laughs> to kill uh, C and Z. But it ends up into a mutual. Both items are up. Um, C and Z spots the mega elf somewhere. He's not aware that the heavy is there. Five minute warning. Yeah, he, yes. he, he, he wants the frax. Seems that is a little bit uh, stuck. Seems that wants to waste yeah. time. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> like, yeah, the, I mean, the two opposites like, is happening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I was like, come at me, bro. And seems he's like, nah. <laughs> a shotgun is such a beautiful area on this map. <laughs> I'll, I'll just enjoy the view a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, and, and look, it, it probably yields him another frag because he used Sombra moving out of the area to get high ground, and then all of a sudden Sombra rushed into him again, and CNZ was ready for it, dealing loads of damage on long range. Sombra, no chance to return it. And here we go. This time, the Supra and Pi is actually hitting, but no! There's so much resources. CNZ got a hundred stack mid fight. Oh, and again, the clutch reel saves him. The Stroyant will heal him a bit. And again, the reel hits. Combo kill with Peeker. But this time around, Sombra. Yeah, I mean, Sombra is on an, a very uncharacteristically low 19% rail. Ouch. Nah, but he's trying to make up for it. <laughs> he's hitting a few good shots here and there, but this one really hurt him. Oh, and the defensive shot from Sombra, and he nice. will hit another one, and there we go. Look, mom, I killed a former QPL player. I mean, that 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 could be frag level <laughs> Yeah, 
I mean, it's it's just for playing, right? Yeah. There's like... not a real chance of coming back. You'd need to get like a clean frag and then two clean spawn frags and then and then and then and then and so on. So it's very unlikely, but you never know. And Sombra still can there's, there's like, all... get in the groove <laughs> for the lower bracket. And there's still time. Here, there is still time. Rob, we have two and a half minutes to go. Yeah. <laughs> a lot can happen. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Sombra is also missing. Missing the movement, like, and that's that's not because he's not good with the movement. He's just he doesn't have a, a champion that can keep up with uh, the slide mechanic. Uh, I want to note it isn't crouch slide; it's butt slide. Yeah, and CNZ, like, I think Sombra is realizing that CNZ is just uh, playing major defensively right now. Yeah, I mean, CNZ is, has always been known for a great defensive play in combination with good hit scan, and it's just what he's showing now, but this time using the rail could bring him in, in proper trouble, but now he. Manages to wiggle his way through the murder hole without eating a direct there. He has lost all of his armor, but Sombra has no real weapon to fight other than the railgun. He tries it with a tribal, but he gets planted really hard. Oh. No dip this time for Sombra. Mega Elf going to CNZ. And yeah, the time is ticking away. One minute left. Sombra still sorting on. Like this is uh, good, good experience for him. He said in this interview that he uh, wants to go to uh, day two during KingCon, so he needs the time in the arena to to get better. Yeah, and I think we have seen, like, the score didn't really necessarily uh, go ahead and, and, and show how well Sombra played in some phases of the game. If he can, like, build on that and keep that up. Yeah, like, like in Quick Champions, it, 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 it's so important to survive when you have sp uh, just uh, spawned. Like, that, that is so hard in this uh, game. It, it's it, to be fair it's hard in any game you could argue that spawning is not as punished in quick champions because you as a medium at least spawn with some armor but i think uh it depends on where the spawn is forced more than uh that you spawned <laughs> kind of <laughs> if you know what i mean and we see look the difference is in in items is just the light armors and then you have damage because the, the majors were distributed equally, so CNZ outpositioned him, had an easier time to hit the shots because he was always yeah, seeing the entire hitbox of Sombra, where Sombra mostly just saw ahead of him. Yeah. Yeah. In the end, <laughs> that comes down to positioning, like the upper position we saw. Uh, yeah, CNZ yeah. taking that a lot. There's one guy, I think we know him all, who is doing an incredibly great job at playing and dealing damage from the low ground. Um, he's best known for dancing around a certain wall uh, on a map where Mega spawns. He does that incredibly well and he he has even a video on his YouTube channel, I'm talking about Razy in this case, which where he shows um, where he shows that You can see the guy first when you're on low ground because of how the viewport and the hitbox work. But that this is so hard to do that, generally speaking, the guy on the high ground wins. <laughs> 